Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. What are some words you use to describe Mr. Smith? I always describe him as an M&M, just like the candy M&M. Because when you first look at Mr. Smith, he has this hard candy shell coating that you have this perception of who you're going to be speaking with. However, on the inside, he's nothing but all heart and is all about students and families, this community. Um, he really, really takes what he does here to heart. So it's that inner warm center of Mr. Smith um, that really, really shines. He truly cares about the kids. Give the, the kids the best opportunity to succeed. He wants to see them be successful. He cares about what they're doing inside and outside the walls of the school. He is definitely a family man. He loves his family. He's very sarcastic. A little sarcastic. Definitely sarcastic. And, uh, I get along with that level of sense of humor, so I'm gonna miss that guy being around because if I would just walk by, he would say something funny or clever. I'm gonna miss that level of humor in the hallways. Cardigan. I know that's weird, but if you've ever seen him in the hallway, um, you've definitely seen him sporting a sweater vest or um, a cardigan, and he's always rocking it, right? He's always giving that Mr. Rogers of Hickory Ridge um, style off. But World's greatest dad. And the reason for that is because he's everybody's dad. That father figure, which I think a lot of people see out of him. Dependworthy, and Dependworthy describes Mr. Smith because he's dependable and he is so uh, very professional at his job. He's on a mission to do whatever needs to be done and there's no playing around. He reminds me of a dad figure. Like I feel like a lot of students here and even staff view him as kind of like a dad, grandpa type. I don't want to say grandpa just because he's retiring, but you know, pretty yeah. much it's Mr. Smith. There's not many like Mr. Smith. There, there's not many people that do this job this long, has made this much of an impact on, on students, and he's one that's going to continue to to do that. So Mr. Smith and I both started at Jane Freeze Middle School. So Mr. Smith and I are almost like brother and sister in a way because we've kind of grown up together um, and we just, I don't know, I just have always had a special um, place in my heart for Mr. Smith. I've known Mr. Smith since I was a teacher here. He was a counselor and then I was a teacher here and he became an administrator here. So I've seen Mr. Smith kind of go up through different roles. The story about Mr. Smith is he's always willing to listen is always willing to either listen about not just like personal issues or just like just good to talk to and someone that generally he just listens. He is all he is the person I would go to if I was struggling and needed some support. Mr. Smith has been like the consistent rock um, ever since that I've been here. I've made a transition from another school system six years ago and um, I can always go to him um, for advice. I'm going to miss our talks because he's a really good person to go to and talk to during the day. Like he's, His door is always open. He gives great advice. Whether you, you want to just have a laugh or whether you need to do have a good cry, he's always there and open. Actually, at a SAVE training I went to, um, they asked the adults who their trusted adult was in the building. Um, and I actually told them mine was Mr. Smith, um, largely because of the reason I just mentioned. He's calm in a crisis. Um, usually if I'm nervous or upset about something, he's the person I go to because he's the type of person that you can talk to and um, he doesn't judge you or anything like that and you just can kind of open up to him and he'll help you out. With Mr. Smith, it's a lot of it has to do with building relationships with students and I know that you know, there's several students in the building that um, go to him for conversations and things like that, but um, just being a mentor to the students in the building, um, that's kind of what the impact that he's had on me. He believed in me when I had the opportunity to become the manager of the cafeteria here. Um, he encouraged me, supported me, and he helped me. And he's backed me the whole way, and I greatly appreciate it. First of all, I'm taking over his original bowl picture. Da -da. His little head right here will be a big X on top of it here pretty soon, which I'm really sad about. But uh, I'm going to take over his legacy of keeping up with the picture. 
This year, he has um, carried around a little walkie-talkie with one of the EC students, and um, and they talk back and forth on the radio all day. And so it's just really sweet to me that he would take the time and actually carry around an extra radio so that he can have that interaction with you know with one of our special needs students. Because if you see John, the student's face, when he talks to Mr. Smith, like he just lights up. And so it just I think that that just kind of shows what kind of a person he is. But yeah, so to see him interact like that with John has been really neat this year. Enjoy retirement. Enjoy your retirement. Enjoy your retirement. You deserve this, this retirement that you're about to get. Of course, they're gonna miss you. You will be greatly missed. Enjoy retirement. You have deserved it. You have more than earned this time, sir. You've earned it, man. Enjoy. You you have given your time for king and country, and uh, this Hickory Ridge, as long as you've been here, not just a minister, but as a guidance counselor and everything, you are as, as much of an original bull as those original bulls are left being here. Your impact will be definitely missed. I know uh, you say you're gonna stay away for the rest of the time at that point, but I know at some point you will be uh, coming back through these doors to say hello. Um, in six months, I always look forward to seeing him come back into the building um, as one of our most faithful long-term substitutes. So I'll see you in six months, Mr. Smith. But I will be over for four o'clock um, coffee on the porch once a month. So enjoy your retirement. But now it's, it's really that time to show his family the love that he showed everywhere else. We will miss you. But always remember that you're a bull um, and we love you. Enjoy your life with your wife and uh, your kids and um, just doing all the things that you've always wanted to do for um, all the years that you've been working with, with uh, Hickory Ridge High School. He said, I will miss you. Come by and see us sometimes because we're definitely gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you, um, but I know you're gonna enjoy spending time with your wife and cooking and just, yeah, just enjoying a nice retirement. So, I have best wishes. I hope he gets to experiment and make all the recipes and the food that he really enjoys to eat and cook. There's only a handful of people I've worked with right now my whole career. Um, and, and he's one of them and there's gonna be a really big hole in, in my life and in my career. And I'm gonna miss him. I love Mr. Smith so much.